What I want to do now is just want to open it up and bring Ross and Sue into the conversation a little bit. So, Sue, so I'd like to start with, with, Sue, with yourself. You, you obviously work with many different advertisers, many different marketers, and you touch many different touch points in the mobile space, which is a fast-growing engagement channel um, into it. What, what's your view of the conversations that you're seeing with the marketers that you engage with? I think in terms of uh, the quote that you had before, in terms of consumer expectations and also being more, more price conscious, what we're seeing that's been really impactful is particularly within those sort of uh, necessity goods from supermarkets through to drugstores is actually being sensitive in their in their marketing messaging and actually shifting budgets away from brand campaigns through to actually price freezes. So super drug froze prices of 5,000 items for at least 12 months. Um, and Iceland, for example, they were given over, six, over 60s uh, discounts on products too. So all of those things have a halo effect on consumer loyalty as well in terms of uh, decision making when it comes to, to a cost perspective. Great. Ross, just from your perspective and providing a lot of the, sort of the online digital e-commerce channels and capabilities. Yeah, absolutely. As, we, as you know, and you mentioned, um, consumers will shop around and it's, and it's easier to shop around now because it's mobile. So, you know, shop around for the best price and, and get in the best offer. Um, but what's very interesting that we see also is top line price is important, but you know, um, item the time to ship the item to me is also super important. Um, yeah, we've kind of just done some tests with some different brands and different products around, you know, would I pay slightly more if I was going to get it tomorrow versus next week? And, and that's definitely uh, something that rings true still. But everybody knows that consumers obviously want the best offer. It's just what is that best offer in terms of the combination, I think, of product price and then shipping? All those things will kind of lead into whether or not you're going to engage you know, really well with that consumer, I think. Yeah. And do you have any sort of viewpoints on the actual marketer conversations, where their heads are at in terms of their business going forward? From our side, we see, I think one of the core things for marketers to understand is the role of each channel. Um, so we'll probably get into kind of omni-channel sort of further on, but you know, what is the role of each individual channel? So by that, I look at, you know, D2C channels being probably more about retention, marketplaces more about consumer acquisition. If you're looking at those two things in the same way and judging them in the same way and the cost per acquisition of that customer, I think you could be, as, as a marketer, you could be potentially optimizing incorrectly um, when you're looking at, you know, like for like when it's actually kind of apples and oranges. And I mean that by that, I mean there's, a, there's, there's certain channels that you're gonna see that are gonna work very well for you as a marketer in getting new customers. And that's a different tactic and different strategy and a different cost for acquisition than it is, you know, cross-selling and upselling to an existing customer base. So I think it's really important for marketers to understand what the role of each channel is. And that's not always very clear. The other thing I think that we do a lot of work with brands is understanding sort of beyond ads uh, attribution. So we did some work with a large drinks manufacturer recently uh, and, the, and the, you know, the fundamental sort of question is, you know, when we spend money on advertising, is there a halo impact beyond advertising attribution? So, you know, can we, we can measure ad attribution through to, through to sale, but as we're spending money, do we actually see an increased purchase rate on non-attributed sales? So what we might say organic or organic search, you know, how does that lead into investment? If you're only, invest, if you're only kind of investing in channels that are very sort of point of sale, Direct, uh, direct response, yeah, you might optimize towards that because it looks good short term, but actually are you missing, are you missing the kind of you know, broader funnel? There's a, there's a lot of um, data and, and insights that I think brands can use around that. 